Hello and welcome to episode 13. Unlucky for someone else, not us, hopefully. Hey, eh? as always, thanks for joining me. It's massively appreciated. Your view is the most important thing. If you feel generous, hit that thumbs up. It really gets my channel out there. More people will find it if you hit that thumbs up. So I really do appreciate it. Even if you comment, that's amazing. If you watch an advert, you're a hero. If you're a patron, you're a god damn legend. You're a god of this channel. So thank you very much to all of you for whatever you do. So... Yeah, season 13, I've had a good few days at this, it's been fun, um, really enjoyed it, didn't start too well though, I'll be honest with you, so I filmed a podcast a couple of days ago with Lee, Mo, Lee Monaghan, the Twitch streamer um, from Evolving Mindset, and Luke from the Offbeat Podcast, it was brilliant, um, that'll be out before Christmas I think, I will be plugging it when it comes out, I was talking to them about this things, these two things that happened and how it proper sent me under. I think I was depressed. I was really sad. I was so sad. The wife was like, why are you so sad? And I'm like, you don't want to know. No, honestly, why do you look so depressed? I went, you won't care. She went, seriously, you're my husband. I love you. Talk to me. I went, I've lost two of my best players. And she went, oh, for God's sake, I don't give a shit. So, yeah, we've lost two good players. First up, it's our superstar striker, Martin. 3.3 million he cost us two seasons. An insane amount of goals. He was a runners-up in the golden boot. Two seasons running. Behind the cheat code, Erling Haaland. So, some achievement. Um, he won't restructure his deal because of the interest that has been shown in him. And he had a £42 million release clause and Arsenal matched it. And he's gone to Arsenal. And it's the 3rd of September and he's obviously scored 4 in 5. Next up, it was Leonardo Mendoza. £74 million release clause he had. I thought that was enough because um, we had a lot of interest in him the previous season people were coming in with 56 they were saying no and he wasn't even unhappy he wasn't bothered um, and then this summer it started again and I turned a few down I think Bayern Munich were after him again and uh, Liverpool matched it so that's an insane an insane amount of money but they're irreplaceable in my opinion so here we are 3rd of September and look at our finances they're absolutely insane and I have spent some money I've stretched it out um, I've also, you know, recouped quite a bit of money. I had another big fee as well for one of my other players. Um, and again, it's 10 out, 10 in. Not always like for like. Tried my best. Um, I was just good. I want to kick the club on. I hate losing players I don't want to sell. Um, but anyway, quickly, I'll just run through it. Midfielder Whittle, 7.5 million Villa. Right back Vaca, 7 million Salzburg. Maldini, the centre half, 6.25 million. He went to Hoffenheim. Um, young English midfielder Hassel, he went to Inter Milan. 5 million. Uh, Grayson, the right winger, 3 million to Derby. Campos, the centre half, 1.5 million to Antwerp. Uh, Floria, decent midfielder. I got 30 million for him. This is before I was losing Mendoza um, to Watford. Uh, Sergio, the centre half, 3.4 million to Cardiff. Uh, that goalkeeper, Aziz, you'll remember him. I got half a million from West Brom. Uh, and the left winger, Stevens, who's been around for ages, got 7.25 million from Spurs. And obviously got new players in. I'm still bitter though. I'm still bitter. But look at the money. So you know this squad. I have got some talent. And I've, arra I've arranged it by ability, right? We've got some good players. Uh, Martinovic, great white winger. Moen, Ole, they're still here as AMCs. Um, same full backs. Um, still got Janik in the middle, who's a very good player. Got George Ezra, some solid um, defenders. We've still got the original Bulgarian, Dimitar Doishev, who played a bit on the right with Martin coming in. Might play a bit more up top. Roman Walker, good centre half. Mikoff, the right back. Uh, Christopher, the left back. Jensen, the right back. Cronin, still here. Decker, the left winger, got from United for a few million. But I've made major changes because, you know, we're just sitting around the eighth position. We're back into Europe. I want to do well. Obviously, I wanted to get rid of a few players, freshen it up. Um, obviously, not two of them. Um, and, and I've done some good business. We've spent some money, a lot of combined fees, a minute, one minimum fee and a couple of freebies. So let's quickly run through just the new boys. We've got Belgin, who I've got from Galatasaray for 10.5 million straight. He's a good player, midfield centre, 19 year old, wonder kid. Now, I've said this for years, the modern football managers throw around the media description of a wonder kid way too easy for me. Used to be a bit more prestigious in the olden days. Um, so, you know, you can take that with a pinch of salt, but we're getting to that stage now, and I've done this many times when there's a lot of them. And if you're in the right position with the right amount of money, you can pick up wonder kids. It doesn't mean they're going to be the next Messi, 
but it, it gives you hope that they can become good players. So he's a new midfield centre. Uh, we've got another midfielder who's injured. Mamadou. Mamadou. Boo, 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 boo. Mamadou. 19 as well. Wonder Kid as well. Now, ooh, I've wrote his name down somewhere. Niasi, that's it. Got him from Porto for a combined fee of 18 million. Uh, Fabian Wisner, another wonder kid. I've been shopping. 20 years old. Wisner, I got from Mainz in the Bundesliga 2 for a combined fee of 38 million. They also had a very good attacking midfielder. Um, I thought I might get him because, you know, Bundesliga 2. Couldn't get that through. Bit gutted about that one, but we'll forget about it. I'm not bitter. Um, now, we needed a striker and I struggled. There was a lot of good ones. Either couldn't afford them, didn't want to come. The best one I could find was Tim Penfold, who wanted to leave Leeds. Now, he looks good. He's quick, right? And he can dribble. And his finishing ain't bad. He's off the ball ain't bad. His composure ain't bad. He's 24 years old. Never played for his country. Penfold, danger mouse. If you know, you know. Uh, Penfold cost me 35 million combined. Only trouble is, last year he played all year for Leeds, scored six goals in the Premier League. But you know, I've turned strikers around in the past. Can we turn Penfold around with the way we play? Next up, it's Kelvin Benham, a left winger who's all round, I think, a good player. He's also a wonder kid. Um, what's it called? Benham. I've written it down somewhere. From West Brom, 20 million combined. Absolute bargain. Um, again, Another wonder kid. Now, this was a late purchase because I've got Cronin and I'd already bought another goalkeeper. And then this guy came up on my scout reports and I noticed he was a wonder kid. And I thought, I'm collecting motherfucking wonder kids and he's a goalkeeper. I need a goalkeeper who's a wonder kid. Don't mean he's done it right. And this is my plan. I've done it before. He's Mexican. Got it from America for 9.75 million minimum fee, right? I'm going to bed him in this year. Let him learn the culture of Oldham. Poor bastard. And. <laughs> Settle in, but I might push him uh, next season. We'll see. Uh, next up, it's Mr. Collie, a right winger. Collie, 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 Collie. Got him from Leicester on a freebie. One of my free pickups, 23 years old. I'm happy with that one. Let's go down to the bottom. We've got Scott Radcliffe, who can also play as a striker. I remember that. Bristol City, £50 million combined. 19, not a wonder kid, but he's all right. Quite liked him. Uh, this is the other goalkeeper I got, Pablo. Pablo, I got on a freebie. Colombian, worth a bit of money. I mean, I think I've got three good, decent, youngish goalkeepers now. One of them's a wonder kid who hopefully next season will kick on. Now, I'm going to skip Bernard Juma because he's not technically new. I'll go to Joe Goodyear, the last purchase of mine from Leicester for 15 million. Uh, a defender. Good young English defender. With Mendoza going at the time he went, I had a lot of money. But I couldn't find anyone that made me happy. I felt like I was overpaying for them or they were okay. I didn't want to spend 40, 50 million, even if it was combined for an okay. I thought I can handle it a year. And we had one player and it's Bernard Juma in our academy who's kept his five-star rating. He's 18. So a lot of them have, have teetered off. We've not had anyone come up through the academy yet into the first team. He's not going to be a starter, but he's a five-star potential. He's hardworking. He's got some ability already. He's 18. He's one of our own. So I am replacing a world-class midfielder with Bernard Juma. Risky. But I feel all right about it. Now, a great bit of news. We're getting a new stadium. It's not fell through. We are due to move into the 32, nearly 33,000 capacity stadium in June 2037. Will we ever see that? Hopefully. I'm hoping. We'll see. But my worst case scenario has come true. They've named it the Oldham Stadium. Now, you may not know this, but you can change a name of any stadium if you want. If you're not, change the code. So if we do move in there and the series is still going, I'm going to change that name. Now, I'm not going to be a knob and name it after myself, but I might put out a few legends. Even if you're not an Oldham fan, you can help. I might, if we get to that stage, I might do a vote on my community tab. Do you know, like... On the road to anywhere, if you've ever seen that, when I, I let you vote and decide where you want my career to go, we'll do that. Definitely going to put Andy Ritchie in, Roger Palmer, Joe Royal, maybe John Sheridan. And we'll name it after one of them. I mean, the Joe Royal Stadium sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Not famous to go down anymore. The bookies are liking us a bit now. We're showing a bit of spirit. We're punching above our way. We've been, what, eighth? two years now so we're okay got a good team i've got good players and we've added to that with a lot of youth and a lot of wonder kid potential do all have minimum fees so again if we lose them we'll make a lot of money but i do want to kick on 
not only in the league, but in Europe. And we did well in Europe last year. And then we took a step back in Europe into the conference. I thought, I feel like we could do really well. So the league is well underway. And you might think, shit, you're 18th. I've only played one game and I drew it. I've only played one game. And there's a reason for that. Because I had to qualify for the conference last year. I went straight into the Europa League. This year we had to qualify. Lots of them. Um, so you can see some friendlies went to Scotland and um, played Dutch team, AZ. And then played a team I've never heard of. Baronese or something like that. Don't know who they are. Don't care. Drew with Chelsea though in the league. Look at that. Martinovic with a 94th minute. I mean, we were 2-0 down. Brilliant game really. Um, obviously beat them and we came up against these boys we all know who they are quite a decent side to be fair beat them 4-1 and 1-0 uh, at home and we're now into the conference league the beautiful new European system yeah so we're in here with all these teams now you got to remember last year we were forcing this in the Europa League we actually topped the group winning every game I felt really positive about this one do you remember Dynamics? <laughs> I haven't looked at any of this. But I'm not allowed to look at data hub. I don't look at dynamics. I've never used a squad planner. I've got a pad. Um I've not used any of that new shit. I'm old school, I'm like an old fashioned man. Um but I'm here because we're now gonna transition and we're gonna jump forward to the first of January and see how we've been getting on. And let's just get straight into the Premier League. Um look at Doishev there, second leading goal scorer, best player in the league. I mean, he, he had a stellar first season and then Martin came in and was a bit better and he kind of had been pushed out. But he's stuck with us. Um, but he hasn't always been playing up front because Penfold has been playing up front, but Penfold started so slowly. I was thinking, no, I can't do it. it I, I can't work miracles sometimes. This tactic of mine sometimes is, can turn an average striker into a great one or can make a striker realise his full potential. It wasn't doing it at the beginning. But anyway... At the minute we're 11, but we've got games in hand. So after our draw with Chelsea, we had a great run. Beating Palace, Drew with Everton, we beat Southampton. Absolutely annihilated Lee Green Shields. Sorry, I mean Blackburn Rovers. And then got absolutely annihilated. Annihilated. <laughs> off Liverpool. Um, beat Sunderland, beat Forest, got battered off Arsenal. The two teams that nicked my players. I'm not going to say anything, but he did celebrate. Martin, he's dead to me. Um, Leeds drew with them, got beat off Watford, disappointing. We beat Leicester. We've been a bit of a miss. You know what I mean? European games. I mean, this room has been a bit turd. Beat Blackburn again, which is fun. Drew with City. I mean, we are their bogey team in the league, aren't we? We are out, though, of the Carabao Cup. Uh, we beat Brentford, played Fulham. I mean, I'm giving guys games. Juma got a game. And talking to Europe, that's where we were saving our best football for. We weren't playing the best teams. I mean, Dynamo Kiev ain't bad, but everyone else are turds. Bunch of turnips. I mean, look at that. A six goal game. Seven, two sevens. You know what I mean? Pretty good. Of course, we topped the group. Level with Olympiacos. I mean, teams are going to come down, aren't they? From the Europa League, I think. Do they? I don't know if they do. I don't think they do anymore, do they? I can't remember. I should know, should I? I don't know. Um, I don't pay much attention, I just focus on myself uh, and I don't really care because I think we could do really well here. Now I've arranged the squad by average rating, obviously Dimitar's done done really well for me, Penfold down there, started to kick in a bit mid-season, he's not a bad player to be fair, a lot, a lot of good players, a lot, um, oh, Hernandez only had one game, the other dudes had two, Cronin's still my number one this year but I'm really going to push that one, day. I'm going to stick him right into it next year, I just wanted him to sell. I think that's the best thing to do. It's worked for me in the past. Didn't want to throw him in the deep end. Let him learn the language and all that stuff. Um, but you know, again, in Europe, we've been fantastic, but the opponents aren't the best. And we still feel this thinking rich. Got now to spend. They're being tight buggers. But I'm not bothered. We'll see what happens at the end of the year. I'd like him to give me a good chunk of cash. Let's go out and do something special next year. But let's see where we are next year in the league, in Europe and so on. Um, so, well, let's kick on again. Through the 1st of April, we've had another good youth intake with some really good players again. Um, signed up all the best ones. Very happy with this. We're starting to get some really good youth again. And in the Premier League, we're 8. We, we love being 8. It's like our favourite number, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, we've got no one in the top 3 of anything. 
Martin, though, where were you, Martin? Two years, you were number two striker. Not far off, Holland. Where's he now, eh? And we started really well. I think we've done all right in the new year. Not too bad with a cracking run, as you can see. Um, Drew Spurs, beat Sunderland, got beat off Chelsea, beat off United. Bad Villa, beat Leeds. Look at that, West Ham, beat Manchester United. Tenfold hat trick. Danger Mouse. Uh, beat Forest. Look at this all for a game. Look at that for a game. I mean, look at when... Oh, God. Look at when Newcastle started scoring. And then when we... Oh, man. What a game. We are, though, out of the FA Cup in the quarterfinals. Again, not the thing I'm too bothered about. Beat Forest. Um, battered Hull. Beat Bristol City. And we got beat off Ipswich. And... The reason I'm pulling my face is because I went for it. But what about the Conference League? Well, we went straight through to the round of 16 because we topped the group and we played Reed. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's how I would pronounce it. They're an Austrian team. I've never heard of them. Um, and we beat them 3-0 and 2-0. And now I've got Wolfsburger. So let's jump onto the squad before we transition towards the end. Um, and look at Penfold. It did come true. So he did start very slowly. He started very slowly and and then just kicked on. Started scoring goals for fun. I've done it before. This tactic of mine, it does help a striker. It's good for strikers. I mean, look at him. 34 goals in top. That's amazing. Buzzing with him, really. Six goals he scored last year for Leeds. Six. Let's check out the quarterfinals of the Conference League. And away from home against Wolfsburger. Um, we beat them 3-0. Look at that. Easy peasy. Then beat him at home. 4-2. So, lovely jubbly. Into the semi-finals. So here we are with the semi-finals. I'm going to do something a little different. You'll find out kind of instantly, maybe. I'm not going to explain myself. You'll just see. But some good teams in here. Hamburg, great team from Germany. Good, solid team. We've got Atalanta. Great in Europe. Really good, solid team in the modern era. Monaco. Have money. Use have good players. Um, they made Mbappe. So... Could be tough, so what I'm going to do is, I can't fit in three live comms. I can't, I don't know how to do it. I do know how to do it. I've got a plan, actually. I've got a plan. Obviously, I'm going to live com everything. I've not played any more. This is it. I've got the afternoon to get this all sorted. So, let's get into it. Well, here we are anyway. I've played five games, right? I've played five games. And this is the first one. In the semi-final against Monaco, 2-2. We were doing very well. Um, I, I think we were the better team and I was disappointed with them coming back. And then this happened. This happened. Now, I didn't know how to do this because you never know what's going to happen and you need a live comment at the end of an episode. So I've live commed both semis. Like, you know, it was going to be aired on the episode in case we lost, right? And if we lost, you'd have seen them both. You're not seeing them both. Because of course we're in the final now. This blew me away. This was an amazing game. I didn't think we. I thought it was going to be close, and we absolutely tore them a new one. We were amazing. So we are in the final. The final is the live com. I didn't know I was going to play it, but like I said, I filmed them. But we don't need to watch them, do we? And we beat Southampton three-one. I got battered off Everton, and uh, beat Crystal Palace a three-two. So the league's over, and as you can see. We have finally beaten our 8th place hoodoo. We got into 6th, 62 points. I think I've had more points and finished 8th. I think I have, but I don't care. 6th, Liverpool have won the league. Arsenal 2nd. I've helped with that because they took my two best players. Um, Man City got into 4th, fair play to them above United. But we were 6th. Happy as Larry with that. But yeah, buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. It's been a tense bit of time for me then. I didn't know how this was going to end. I didn't know how it was going to play out. You know what I mean? I'm so happy we're not sitting here watching two semi-finals because that would have meant we'd been beaten. No, we have a live come. It's a final. It's our first proper final. It's a European final against Atalanta. I'll be honest, I'd have preferred Hamburg. So welcome to Spain. The final is being played in Spain. I'm not sure where. I don't recognise the stadium name. Maybe you know it. I should have Googled it. Couldn't be asked. I'm just very excited for this. A final. I know it's only the Conference League. But we did well in the Europa League. We should. I think we've got, we've got a good young team. That team I put out there is pretty goddamn decent. So yeah, you're excited? I'm excited. 
I made sure I'd done it today because I've got a good chunk of time because I knew I had to basically do two full live comms just in case we got beat by Monaco. So this whole thing, chatting away to myself. We'll never see the light of day and I don't care because I'm here now with you in a final. Absolutely chuffed to bits with this. I felt confident. Once we once we top that group and you're looking at the teams, I mean, I, will, I won't lie, the Monaco one. I mean, I, I talked about it when, when I got to that second leg. How we did so well at home, but then going away, having them come back, I just felt like, but I, I felt like ooh, we were going to get done in that second leg. And they were just, they were just amazing. We absolutely dominated, dominated that game. So as long as I can carry that form over here, really chuffed that we've got to six. Um, remember, we're young. We're still young. We're always young, this bloody side of mine. Every time I get a beat, I get plucky, the young golden. So I'm just hoping, go on, um, just keep them together. Do you know what I mean? Winning the European trophy might grow the prestige of the club is, go on, go on, go on. Go on! I thought I was going in. Yeah, it might grow the prestige of the club and we can maybe start to have a bit of clout and stop saying, look, we don't need to sell anyone. We're a good side here now. We're not little shitty old and favourites to go down anymore. Do you know what I mean? Very excited. I mean, because if, ooh, I mean, I think we're in the Europa League anyway. Now you might know, I, I think it's pretty obvious, I am a cap connoisseur. I have hundreds of caps and lots of different variations. I've got the full Major League Baseball team caps and extras and all the NFL with lots of extras. Um, now, I've shied away the last year or so from buying any NBA caps because once I buy one, like a team, I, I'll need them all and it becomes an obsession. I've got like real obsession with it uh, oh 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 go on Penfold get in Tim Penfold but I couldn't resist this one this is my first NBA cap but it's technically not a team it's the NBA NBA All-Stars but it's got me itching I think I need to but it's like how many teams in the NBA 30 odd I've already done it this twice now I've got to get around to it now one thing people are always surprised by when they because I've been reckoning I've been met in the street quite a few times at work is I ain't got a hat on obviously at work or I don't wear a hat, I never wear a hat. I don't wear my hats, apart from on YouTube, is Penfold. Fucking hell, the guy's a beast, the guy's a fucking legend, he's a world class star. But yeah, I never wear him, don't wear him. Because I'm not bald, I think a lot of people think I'm bald. <laughs> but I can't, I don't know, I'm, I'm never going to film an episode without a hat. Because I've been doing this now for what, seven years, always had a hat on. Just it's became, it became my thing out of accident, really. But yeah, I'd always love caps as a kid. I used to collect them, oh, oh, collect them as a kid. And then for years, I didn't. I always wanted to get into it. And I think something's happening here's a penalty. It looked like he had a shot and he saved it. I don't really get what happened then, but I was chatting. All right, come on, Cronin. This is, I'm pushing the Wonder Kid goal the next year. We're going for it. He needs to develop. Oh, oh, and it's half time here. Look beautiful, don't it? I do like the new graphics for Europe. It is a nice touch. Is it worth you buying the FM23? Possibly not, but I do like it. Anyway, with a better team. So no changes have been made from us. Um, I'm leaving it as it is. I feel like we've got goals in us still. And we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Yeah, um, I filmed that podcast. Um, a lot of you watched my original one on the offbeat. It was just me. A bit different this. I'm more of like a, a side character. It's about Limo, really. Trying to promote mental health as well. Have a chat about football managers some other things in a new location it's a barber shop brilliant with loads of memorabilia in um hadfield where they used to film the league of gentlemen if you're english you'll know what that is and uh, great show back in the day and it was really really good i love luke to bits he's an absolute he's a lovely lad really nice so i'd love to do more with him we, we nearly did a, a thing together last year in fm22 and i think i need to reorganize that i need to get him on my channel a bit more because he's a huge football manager fan um, but it comes out, we, obviously we've made it, but I think he's bringing it out just before Christmas because we're, we're all wearing Christmas jumpers and um, it's good, probably an hour long, you can listen to it in the car, while you're at the gym, while you play football manager. I mean, if we get another goal, I'll make changes. Now this kid's really kicked on at right back, really kicked on this season, Parasasasas, whatever his name is. But yeah, if we get another goal, if they, just, if they score right now, they're not going to. George Ezra. <laughs> Eat George Ezra at the works do. You know, at Christmas parties, he's got a great voice. I don't like any of his songs, but he's got a great voice. But yeah, I don't know what to do here. So save me subs, in case it goes to extra time. 
Oh, do I just freshen it right up now? I think I'll wait for this highlight. Make a decision. But yeah, nice little new midfielder he is. Finds Martinovic with his Mohawk. Should have scored. Right, I made two more changes. Um, Goodyear has come on at centre half. And Ole has come on for Moen. Simen Moen. Um, in the AMC position. So that's on my subs, I think. I can't remember even if you get five in the normal games, you still get an extra one in extra time. I don't know. Don't remember. Come and just hang on now, boys. Four minutes. It's two, we're 2 1 up. Our hands are nearly on that goddamn trophy. I feel nervous at 2 1. I really, really do. What are you doing, lads? Just get the ball and keep hold of it. Badging about. Well done, Ole. Finds Deutschev's back to Penfold. What's Penfold going to do? He's taking them all on. He don't care. He's got the pace. No idea how that went in. It was a P roller. Do you remember P rollers when you were a kid? Anyway, here's Deutschev again. Come on, lad. Oh, 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 did you know it's his little... Oh, did you know it's his little footwork? De Doyshev's little... Round the back of his foot and pinged it. That was fucking beautiful. Give us a T. Give us an I. Give us a T. Give us an S. What do you do with them? Old them. Old them. Old them. Old them. We're champions of Europe. Yeah, we, we are. Champions of Europe. European champions. Don't care which one it is. Don't take it away from us. We're getting a special ceremony as well. Look at this. Get Cronin with a trophy. Yay! Oh, I'm there as well. Let me tracky. I've just got to say, if that, how long's that been there? That never happens. Now I have ish light issues in this room. It's the only room I can film in. But that's like a reflection of one of my lights behind my shoulder. Hopefully I haven't spoiled it for you. I very rarely check until the very end. I just had a quick look, then I had to look at something. And I was like, what the hell is that behind me? Anyway, there we go. Uh, fixed it. Bastard. Stupid son. Uh, look at that trophy cabinet. Right, I've jumped forward to the 3rd of June because I wanted to see one or the other trophies. And we've also had our transfer budgets for next season. They've given me basically 80 million. 500 case to wiggle around with. Gonna be a fun summer. Can we finally kick this club on? to becoming a top four team. This is insane. I think we can. So Manchester United won the Carabao Cup on penalties, beating Leicester. Newcastle, Ipswich final. That's mint. I love that. They won that on penalties. Oh, Norwich. It's getting good, this, isn't it? Norwich. They lost on penalties. Well, that was won by Arsenal. It's Barcelona. Martin Shitev. Joint score, there you are with Haaland. Just got back in the office, realised the light had moved over there again. Fucking do my head, it never happened before. I mean, I, I like, I've got fake lights, so I like a bit of natural light. But this must be the positioning of the sun at this time of day. It's bouncing off my neighbour's window into here. I don't like that. It's annoyed me a little bit. Hopefully it hasn't ruined your viewing pleasure. You've still enjoyed that. If you did it, the thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments. I think it's been a fantastic series so far. A little party beta series has turned into something absolutely amazing with a club I've dreaded for years because the last team that sat me, I've put it off for so long and I'm probably having the most fun I've had in absolutely ages and we've got many seasons left I think before Christmas, we're getting close but I think we'll bust out a few more, get us into that new stadium, we've got money to spend, I'm, I'm very excited, I really want to kick on now, can we even, can we even dream about like a top end um, tournament, a Premier League or something like that, that's insane, you, you don't know do you? You don't know. Anyway, let's wrap this up. Before I do, though, Penfold got player of the season in the conference. Top goal scorer. What a player. Six goals last year, and he's turned into a superstar. Absolutely buzzing for him. So thank you very much for your view. You stay happy. You stay safe. Hope you're as happy as me, because I've been, I'm buzzing with that. I am. I love you a long time. I'll see you for episode 14.